to Strange Historical Tales, where we unearth the stories that defy explanation, inviting you into the shadows of history's most intriguing enigmas. Today, we delve into the Dyatlov Pass incident. When a team of Russian mountaineers go missing, their bodies are discovered after a month-long search, leaving authorities with more questions than answers. It's a tale woven from the fabric of the surreal and the somber, where the boundary between the known and the unknowable blurs. In the heart of winter, 1959, Deep within the formidable expanse of the Ural Mountains, a chilling mystery unfolded, one that remains unsolved to this day. January 23, 1959, nine seasoned hikers led by Igor Dyatlov embarked on an expedition that promised adventure and camaraderie. These young enthusiasts, experienced and skilled, sought to conquer the slopes of Otorton, a remote mountain in the northern Urals. They were students and graduates of the Ural Polytechnical Institute, full of life and the zest for exploration. Little did they know, their journey would etch their names into the annals of the mysterious, marking a departure from the world as they knew it. Their expedition was supposed to be a challenging but achievable feat, a testament to their skills and spirit, as they attempted to achieve grade three certification, the highest level certification for ski touring in Russia. Yet it culminated in an event so bewildering that it continues to captivate and haunt the imaginations of many. None of the hikers would return to tell the tale of what transpired in these desolate snowy expanses. What was meant to be a testament to human endeavor and exploration instead became a somber legend, shrouded in speculation, fear, and the unexplained. What forces converged in the bleak wilderness to cut short the lives of these nine souls? Join us as we trace their steps, unraveling the mystery that has baffled investigators, researchers, and the curious alike for decades. Prepare yourself for a journey into the heart of the unknown, where the chilling legacy of the Dyatlov Pass incident awaits to unfold. Our story is set against the majestic Ural Mountains, an ancient range that forms the natural boundary between Europe and Asia. Rich in minerals and steeped in folklore, the Urals have been a significant part of Russia's history, offering both wealth and a strategic geographical advantage. These mountains, with their dense forests and rugged terrain, have challenged explorers for centuries, serving as a backdrop for tales of adventure, mystery, and the unexplained, embodying the profound and often mysterious bond between nature and humanity. Our tale begins with Igor Dyatlov, a 23-year-old radio engineering student at Ural Polytechnical Institute with a profound passion for mountaineering. As the leader of the group that embarked on that fateful expedition through the Ural Mountains, Dyatlov was known for his expertise and enthusiasm for challenging treks. His leadership on this ambitious journey, aimed at achieving grade 3 certification for himself and his team, underscores his dedication and adventurous spirit, setting the stage for what would become one of the most enduring mysteries of the 20th century. Igor Dyatlov's team was comprised of nine individuals, each bringing their unique skills and enthusiasm to the expedition. Among them were engineers Zineda Kolmogorova and Alexander Kolevatov, physicist Yuri Krivonoshenko, and economist Ludmila Dubinina. Their shared passion for the wilderness and mountaineering bound them together on this journey. This group of friends, united by their adventurous spirit and respect for the natural world, embarked on an expedition that has since captured the imagination of people around the world. In late January 1959, a group of ten adventurers, led by the ambitious Igor Dyatlov, embarked on a journey that was meant to be a hallmark of their mountaineering careers. Departing from Sverdlovsk, now known as Yekaterinburg, the team set their sights on the challenging terrains of the northern Ural Mountains. Their expedition aimed not just to conquer the natural barriers, but also achieve the highest certification in Soviet mountaineering, a testament to their skills and spirit of adventure. Yuri Yudin, part of the ensemble of enthusiasts, shared the initial excitement and aspirations of this journey. However, fate had other plans. Plagued by health issues that surfaced early in the trek, Yudin made the heart-wrenching decision to return leaving the group at Vizhai, the last inhabited outpost before the wilderness enveloped the team. On January 28th, he parted ways with his companions, carrying with him the last postcard they would ever send, a document of their undeterred ambition and camaraderie at the moment. The group's journey from Vizhai into the heart of the Urals was marked by their last communication to the outer world, encapsulated in that final postcard sent back with Yudin. It promised updates upon their return, a reassurance of safety that would tragically never materialize. The absence of the expected telegram by February 12th sparked concern. 
turning the expedition from a tale of adventure to one of mystery and foreboding. The silence that followed Yudin's departure was the calm before the storm, the last echo of normalcy before the inexplicable events that were to unfold. As Yudin arrived back in civilization with the expedition's final word, the Dietlov Pass team ventured deeper into the unknown, their paths shrouded in snow and mystery. This moment marked a divergence in their fates, with Yudin unknowingly stepping back into the safety of the known world while his friends marched forward into the annals of legend. The void left by their silence would soon capture the world's imagination, birthing countless theories and investigations into what happened to Igor Dyatlov and his team in the desolate beauty of the Ural Mountains. The search party discovered the Dyatlov group's tent in February 1959, abandoned and damaged, indicating a hasty departure. The tent was torn open from the inside with belongings and footwear left behind, suggesting the group fled in panic or desperation. Further from the tent, the discovery of the bodies added layers to the mystery. They were found at varying distances in minimal clothing, ill-suited for the harsh winter temperatures. Oddly, some of the bodies had injuries that seemed inconsistent with a simple attempt to find shelter. This peculiar arrangement and the condition of the bodies and their encampment prompted numerous questions about the dire circumstances that led them away from the relative safety of their tent into the fatal embrace of the cold. Subsequent autopsies revealed a series of perplexing anomalies. Some victims bore severe internal injuries akin to the force of a car crash, yet without any external wounds to suggest a struggle or accident. This paradox has fueled speculation and inquiry for decades. Among the injuries, the most baffling were a fractured skull, broken ribs, and one hiker even missing her tongue, presenting a grim tableau that puzzled investigators. The absence of external trauma suggested these injuries occurred under extraordinary circumstances, far from the realms of ordinary accidents or foul play. Compounding the mystery, witnesses in the area reported seeing strange orange lights in the sky on the night the hikers perished. These sightings have led to various theories including military involvement and unexplained aerial phenomena adding layers of complexity to the already intricate puzzle of the hikers' final moments. The convergence of these anomalies, severe yet unexplained injuries, coupled with reports of mysterious lights, has spurred a myriad of theories over the years. Suggestions range from a sudden avalanche catching the hikers unaware to secret military tests gone awry, and even to more fringe explanations involving extraterrestrial activity. Each theory attempts to make sense of the disparate pieces of evidence left behind in the snow. Let's delve into some theories surrounding the Dyatlov Pass incident, aiming to shed light on this enduring mystery. The Avalanche Theory The Avalanche Theory suggests a natural avalanche forced the group out of their tents. Critics question this theory due to the lack of typical avalanche signs at the scene. Infrasound-induced panic Proposed by Donny Eichar, it speculates that wind phenomena might have generated infrasound, causing irrational fear, leading to the group to flee their tent. Military Tests Some believe the group accidentally encountered secret military exercises, possibly explaining the injuries and strange lights seen in the sky. An Extraterrestrial Encounter Though less evidence-based, some speculate the mysterious lights and unexplained injuries could point to an extraterrestrial encounter, adding a layer of intrigue. These theories, each unique, attempt to piece together the puzzle of what led to the tragic fate of the Dietlov Pass hikers. As the debate continues, the true cause behind the Dietlov Pass incident remains elusive, shrouded in the mists of time and secrecy. The combination of the autopsy findings, eyewitness reports of unusual aerial phenomena, and the lack of definitive evidence has cemented the incident's place in the annals of unsolved mysteries a somber tale of adventure turned tragedy, forever etched in the lore of the Ural Mountains. The Dyatlov Pass incident is a poignant reminder of the unpredictable nature of human adventure against the backdrop of the formidable natural world. It highlights the courage and spirit of exploration that defines us, even in the face of unexplained tragedies. For more stories that explore the strange and historical, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the Strange Historical Tales channel Join us as we uncover more mysteries from the annals of history.